Hello again everybody, my name is Brandon, and today, more Kerbal Space Program. Uh, the goal for today is we are going to try and land on another planet. So we'll see how this goes. This might be broken up into a couple videos because of the amount of time that it takes to get to one of the other planets. Uh, but I will show you which one we are going to try and land on today. We are going for Duna. Duna is a red planet, much like Mars, and it has a moon called Ike. I've landed on Duna once, and it was really, really bad. But, I think we have a spaceship that will get us there. It is called the Zeus 3, of course, keeping with the Zeus the Zeus name for now. It has it's much like the Zeus 2 that took us to Midmus, except a couple of changes. So this stage instead of being a rock or instead of being um, one of these smaller w rockets it is a nuclear engine and so it uses less fuel it's really hard to use the nuclear engine to get yourself off of a planet but um, oh like oh at least a planet that has atmosphere but if you're in the vacuum of space it uses very little fuel and uh, and can burn, so it can burn for a while, and that's it's good to use to get out of um, to travel to other planets. We have a lot of wobbling going on, um, and then I took off the two fuel tanks on the side, and then we added two parachutes because on Duna we can use parachutes to try and land. Um, so I need to time warp. This is really cool. This is awesome, actually. With the space going above us. And then pretty soon, the sun should rise. Not sure which way to go. I like the lights from... Here we go. Oh, that's awesome. There's the Mun. Speed it up a little bit more. There goes the sun. Oh! Who's got a lunar eclipse? Nice. Alright. The reason we need to do this is because we need these planets in uh, about 40 degrees when we launch so we're gonna speed up time like this and we'll get we'll get uh, Kerbin just a little bit closer to Duna so that when we take off and start flying oh yeah it's like what is that get some more Okay, th I think that should be good. Alright, so what we're going to do is we are going to lift off in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, forgot the SAS. Whew, that was close. So who do we got here? We got Bardo, Chadbo, and Shelton. Those will be the first, hopefully the first Kermans to land on another planet. So there is, the cool thing about going to Duna is there is, some, like I said, there is some atmosphere, so you can use parachutes to help you slow down and, uh, and land. And, I, th I mean, since this is, will be, uh, pretty lightweight, I should be able to use the fuel out of this to slow myself down, too. And, th obviously, this is not a go-to-Duna-and-come-back type mission because of the setup that we have. Alright. 
it's a pretty good launch. I'd say that the Zeus 3 is probably the best out of the Zeus, Zeus uh, line of spaceships. It'll be nice when they add on in point one eight when they add the option to repack your parachute so that when you go to other planets you don't have to put on a ton of parachutes you can just use one and keep repacking it I wonder if the, that would like hurt the quality over time like it if it would degrade it so I'm gonna start to do a little gravity shift real quick this is seriously my favorite part of the game right here coming up and I've seen it a million times and I still think it's just amazing but once we get out of the atmosphere and the stars just light up coming right here in a second oh, I love that that's so cool so we are out of the atmosphere we'll just get rid of those and they will dance away I'll try and stop the spin don't really know why it spins but we got rid of it oh I want to cut my engine move it up a bit so we can get away from these alright so that way we don't accidentally run into them and then blow up our ship alright we will get this bad boy into where we need to be for orbit. I'm going to move, turn on the engine just a bit so that we've got a little bit of control. Yeah. Oh. Oh, nope. Cut it. Oh, damn. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh, waste and fuel here. Alright, there we go. Well, I mean, what? Holy crap. I just want to be on that 90 degree mark. All I want. I mean, I did get I did get it to orbit with plenty of fuel last time remaining, so should be good. Yes, I do. I do test flight my spaceships before I record just to make sure that there are no failures when I am recording. So we're gonna get up to. I think I'm gonna start my burn at about. 200 and... Oh, we'll go... What's my apoapsis? 210? We'll start at like 203? Let's go into the cockpit and see if there's a... Good view. Oh, that's a pretty nice view. He's freaking out over there. I always feel bad for the guy that has to sit down below deck because he doesn't get to see outside at all. Alright. So, what did I say? 203? Alright. And... Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get into orbit. Oh yeah, I added some uh, struts onto this because it was pretty wobbly. 
can see it's kind of wobbly right here. But I've had no problems with it getting into orbit, so not too worried. Yeah, we're about we're about into orbit. Nice. Looks like we might have like a majority of our one of our fuel tanks, our last fuel tank left. All right, just want to get that up a bit. All right, um, what's this at? Three thirty-seven, and that's it. Okay, we're gonna. Oop. Uh, If you ever get that time warp bug, all you need to do is I just turn off my SAS and then uh, it works. Well, so I'm just going to correct my orbit to make it a circular one. Actually, you know what? We don't even need to do that. We just need to figure out... Okay, so yeah, we should just start our burn like... Um, we'll just start our burn here soon. Um, I think that should be good. Yeah, we'll just. I mean, all we're really kind of doing is just. Just get out of a uh, Kerbin orbit and start heading towards Duna. I'm going to use the last of our fuel. That's in the big tank to start our burn towards Duna. Hopefully this turns out. The only capsule that I have landed on Duna, which was one time, and it was a very ugly landing. It was a one, one man capsule, and I... <coughs> didn't land with anything except the capsule and a parachute. So I'm hoping that I can land with legs this time. Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh. There we go. And we'll just begin our burn. So what we're going to do is we're going to catch Duna when it's on its orbit over here. And that's actually the real um, real physics that you use to travel to Mars in real life. And I'm kind of... Well, actually, it'll be all right because once we get into... Okay. Oh. So you can see this. Actually, this will be all right. So we should. There we go. Um. Actually, let's just continue to burn. And we'll just get our orbit out. Uh oh! I think I'm gonna miss it. Crap! All right. I need to cut it. And we need to get. See how am I doing? Bye bye Earth or Kerman, sorry. So we need to get into orbit around the sun and then we'll continue our burn. Here goes the moon. Where's the moon miss at? Where are you at the moon miss? Slow it down. So we oh we haven't even hit it. We haven't even gotten close to moon miss yet. See if we can see Minmus now. Where's the moon? Where are you at, Minimus? Minimus? I like some people call it Minimus. It's not that. Well, looks 
like we're not going to be able to see it. That's alright. Because we should be in orbit around the sun here in a second. There we go. Okay. So. So if I start this burn, it'll go this way. Um. Crap. I think I messed this up a little bit. No, actually, I think that would be alright. Yeah, let's just burn right here. I think I'm on the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this will be good. I hope so. So I'll turn on the physics warp so that this will go. We are going 93,000 <laughs> 9,300 meters a second. That's pretty damn fast. So there's. There's the sun. I don't see any other planets out here. Kind of all alone. I I've I have a feeling we'll we'll get a, an encounter. I'm not too worried about it, honestly. Look, we barely used any fuel. Oh yeah, this is turning out perfect, actually. Nice. I think I think we're definitely gonna get an encounter. Yay! Hopefully here, well, not here any second, but six, what is, is that 17 billion meters? Oh my gosh. We got, we need to get the 20 million. So, and it's, oh good, it's got a horizontal orbit around, so. That's good. Hopefully here any second. I'm going to bring it down just a bit so that we don't miss it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Any second. There yep, there we go. Yay. Holy crap. Awesome. My ship did not break apart. Yay. <laughs> and we still have a ton of fuel left. Nice. All right. Um, let's go to Duna. Let's see how this how this looks. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Yay! Probably can't see it yet, can we? There's something right there. I've seen it. Alright, where are we at? Alright, so... Let's do an encounter and do an escape. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty quick encounter. And I'm going to be coming below it. 
I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and fix this real quick. This will be interesting, but I don't want to go below it. I want to go to the side of it. So I don't need to do that. Let's see. I want. So I want. Changing it somehow, but I can't tell. You know what? Let's just go get. Let's just go get into the encounter and get an orbit, and then we'll figure something out. What I want to do is land on Duna, and then go and then see if I can get to Ike. This is going to be weird. Oh! Alright, let's see if I can... I need to get this down quite a bit. I'm gonna actually. Oop. I'm actually gonna wait until we get to closer to the periapsis. That'll do. Alright, let's see if we can bring our speed down. Hey, there's Duna! Yay! <coughs> this is awesome. We'll have a kind of a weird orbit around it, but. I think that'll be alright. Is this thing even moving? This will take a while since... Let's split it up again. So yeah, you can see it starting to go. You normally have to get... bring your speed down quite a bit to get into orbit around a planet when you're coming in like this. So I hope it this works. How much we're doing pretty good on fuel. And our speed's coming down pretty quickly. So I think it should be alright. Fuel's still doing great. So it looks like I'll have kind of like a weird polar orbit, but I'll try and fix that um, once we get this in orbit real quick. There we go. Well, we've got an encounter with. I'm gonna bring down the time warp. Got an encounter with Ike. I don't really want that. I just want to get into a close orbit around Duna. How close is that? Yeah. Okay. Let's bring it down a little bit more, actually.
260. Alright, that'll work with that'll do for me. So there's Ike and there's Duna. We're still doing pretty good on fuel with that nuclear engine. That took us all the way from Kerbin to here. And and put us into orbit. And I'm gonna see if I can use it to correct our orbit around Duna so we can get a one around the equator. I don't know how this is gonna work. Alright, let's see what I can do here. Um, so, I want it... I think I want to burn south. I'm not really sure that this is doing anything. No. See if this does anything. Eh. Come on. That's extending. I'm just gonna put it at I'm gonna see what happens if I put it at ninety. That's going down. It's going down quite a bit. It doesn't look like we're changing. Hey, that's awesome. Looks like we're going more vertical, honestly. Yeah, I think we are. I don't want that. Oh, I better know what to do. I think I know what to do. Yeah, maybe. Ah. Uh. No, don't extend. Whatever. Um, let's just land right here. Let's do that. Well, <coughs> see if we can use the rest of this fuel. To get us. I don't know if we'll have enough. Maybe. We'll see. We might, yeah. This might be enough to get our speed down enough so that we can... I just want to go in for a landing right here. Oh, I don't know, actually. If we're going to have enough. I'll say as long as we can get the other end down so that we are going to be like on the surface somewhere I think that would be alright don't really want to land on one of the poles though so what we might do I don't know at what altitude you start to hit atmosphere on Duna. I'm gonna do that. 
Because on on Kerbin it's like sixty nine thousand. This is at twenty eight. So hopefully by then we will start to hit some of the atmosphere and start to slow down. Here we come over. Oh, this is awesome. We're at another planet. So let's see what does this tell me. There's a ice cap. It's pretty nice. So yeah, we should start hitting the atmosphere here in a second, I would imagine. All right, let's spend the rest of this nuclear nuclear engine to start to help cut out some of our speed. And then we will get rid of it. And we'll have our lander. Yeah, okay, it looks, looks like our atmosphere bar is starting to go up, which is good. That'll help us out with some of our uh, speed. Uh, it takes a while to load in the textures. Must be pretty big. Well, this isn't really a. Well, might be all right for a landing spot. I think, yeah, I think it'll be just fine. So no matter what, we're going to fall to the surface. Which is exactly what we want. Alright, so the nuclear engine is gone. Oh, nope. Kill that. Yeah. Come on. Yep, so... Not too shabby. Ah. Just hold that. Yeah, we can put the gears out. Why not? So, what are we at? So, as you can see, our speed is is kind of going up, but not really. And we can just turn on a little bit of fuel to start to bring our speed down. This is going a lot better than I was expecting. This is awesome. So, <coughs> you can see our speed is going down a bit. I don't want to. This is going to be kind of a hilly place to land at. I hope it's not too bad. But I just want to start to. I think. Oh man. So it says we're in surface. But I think uh, we'll see. we'll just see. Well, as we get closer, we'll see what happens. Let me turn up the fuel a bit. We'll start to cancel out. Yeah, see, we're slowing down a lot now. That's a lot of it has to do with the atmosphere. Oh no, 
I don't want that. All right, we're almost almost on the surface. This is your captain speaking, Chad Bo Kerman. Yeah, we're we're at a cruising altitude of 250 meters per second and decreasing. Yeah, and we will be on the surface of Duna here shortly. So, if you could please be prepared for landing. And, uh, yeah. So, we use half of our fuel, of this fuel tank to get, uh, so. Oh. Nope. Want this right in the top middle. And let's see. So we're 2,000 meters from the surface. I'm going to deploy the chutes. These will help us land. Keep our speed down a bit. Looks like it might be a nice, nice flat landing for us. Let's see, we're at 1,000 meters from Duna. The surface of Duna. We just have about half of our fuel tank left. So hopefully that's enough that we can get to Ike. If not, well, you guys did good. This is awesome. This is the first time I've ever landed on another planet like using a lander. So, this is going way better than. So, it looks like we still need to use fuel. The shoots won't do everything. It's because it's not like a really thick atmosphere still pretty thin so I probably didn't even need the parachutes to be honest oh yeah all right we're at 100 meters <coughs> kind of landing in a crater looks like hopefully I can see my shadow here any minute no don't tip over <gasps> yes all right. This is awesome. We still have a bit of fuel left. So, Chad Bow, since you are our captain, you will be the first Kerbal States of America astronaut to land on another planet. Yay. That's awesome. This is cool. Wonder if jetpacks work. Kind of. It's when you come back down really far. <laughs> All right. Um. We'll disable rocket pack. And we want. Where's this? Where's this sun? So I think I might time warp a minute, see if the sun comes up. Yeah. Where are we lined up? Not too shabby. This is really cool. Alright. Let's get the other guys out. So that we can get a picture. That'll do. And then Bardo. We'll get Bardo out. Da -da 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 I don't know. 
That was the national anthem of the Kerbal States of America. All right. Picture time. Nice. Um let's see that let's let's go to let's go to Ike. Let's do that real quick. Well, let's see if we can. Um what I might try to do is cuz I don't know if we'll have enough fuel to get into orbit and then try and go to Ike. So what I might try and do is just see if I can fly straight up and catch an encounter with it. Make sure that it's you know, in the correct position, but just fly straight out. I'm afraid also that it might be too high. Like, I might miss it on its orbit. So I'm not close to the equator, so well, I'm kind of close. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll just we'll just fly in that general direction. All right. Um. So here we are. So I want to just go sh straight that way, and it looks oh crap. I don't think I would get an encounter. Uh. Well, regardless, this looks like it, it's about the same as Kerbin and the moon, so... Oh. Maybe this is why I need to get into orbit. It's because I will never get... Damn it. Alright. Let's just see what happens. I don't know what like a good that'll do. No, nope, we're not gonna have enough fuel. Damn. That's all right. At least we got to another planet. Well, we'll just see what happens. Oh! this does. <laughs> see if what happens before we run out of fuel. Oh. Well. You guys had a good run. Let's get rid of that. And then we'll see if we can land safely on with just one parachute we'll see if these guys can just stay on here for a minute maybe I'll come rescue them someday who knows whoa It doesn't. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna work, cause 
We are going really fast. I'm afraid that our parachute is just going to rip off. Shit. Well, I'll just deploy the parachute and see what happens. Well, it looks like it's slowing us down. Oh no, this isn't good. Whoa! This might work. Uh oh. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> so. Here they are. Let's get them out real quick. Before it gets blocked. No. No, he's the only one that made it out. Let's see if I can push it. This guy. Come on, push. There you go. Alright, we got all of them out. <sighs> None of them will be stuck in the pod. So there's another good picture. Well, we made it. Yay! That's awesome. Um, I think for the next video I might try and go to I don't know, maybe one of definitely one of the other planets, maybe like Jewel or Eve or something. But yeah, uh thanks for watching guys. Cheers.